Hey guys, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. You're gonna notice a few little changes here on the roster here. A patch came out, so... First obvious thing is people have new appearances, so like, here, for example, here's Sozni, and here's Ballot Boxer. They actually look different from each other now. And Boss Monster, now looks different from Lord Verd. And there's, I, I went through and just picked costumes I like for a lot of them. There's a few like Kerbal and Eclipse where I stuck with the defaults, but... There's a whole lot of color variants to be had throughout the game. Also, a neat little feature that will save me some time, there's sorting options now, so I can be like, sort by stress. Bam! Now the people that are all, that need uh, to be healed the most for stress are just on top, so I can figure out who to send then. Or sort by class. Would be more useful if I had more than one person of any classes besides two of them, but not the current setup for me. Sort by activity, that's a little weirder. I guess it just filters out the people that are busy with stuff, which could be handy. And the one I use the most of the time, sort by level. Where I can sort them by their experience levels so that I can prioritize who I take on missions. If I'm, for, if for example, if, I, if I'm trying to train lower level characters. Anyway. We're just gonna go ahead and hop into that next ruins mission because we're so close to unlocking the next boss encounter here. Mangy's gonna tank, Lucas is the backup. Knackle is ranged, Ballad is healer. Should be pretty straightforward. Medium run? Yeah, we're just exploring. This will be pretty straightforward, so... The usual. Oh my god, those are shovels. I forgot to explore, let's get this started. Gonna go around in the various directions in this first little zone. Then I'm gonna loop around, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna go to the top direction first, is what I'm gonna go for here. So I have Lucas in front right now, kinda just for funsies, cause he's got a cool little skill that I feel like giving a shot. Cause why not? Let's see... Oh god. So that person's screwed. How much bleed is on them? Four? Yep, they're dead. Alright, one shot kill. <laughs> uh, so main G can be a tank too, obviously, because they have big strong hit points and everything like that, so that's fine. But I feel like... What if we put Lucas in the very front and see if that affects things at all? Lucas has a fun skill that he can use when he's in the very front row that reduces the accuracy of every enemy. Just all of them. And that seems like a pretty cool debuff to have. Uh, Obviously not very useful for a lot of the encounters I'm doing this early on, because they're not... Some of this stuff's not that hard, but it could be something like this could be really effective against uh, some higher level enemies, maybe even some bosses, if I can spam them with damage reduction. It's, it's hard to fully... It's hard to fully appreciate its usefulness in some cases here, just because our characters are so strong that some of these runs are going to go pretty quickly. But man, that guy would have had w uh, sure would have had a lower chance of hitting me if he got a hit in. Uh -huh. But yeah, main G, as far as I can tell, I think he just has access to every move, even when he's in the second row. So uh, having Lucas in front to use that ability seems to help, especially since I don't think the game necessarily prioritizes attacking the front person. A a a the AI just kind of attacks whoever they can, and it's just it's just so th it's just true that the most commonly targeted people are the front too because they're in the range most often. Alch alchemy table. I don't have shit in my inventory. I'm not. I'm not. I, should, I feel like I shouldn't play with that. So we're just heading on north, having a grand old time and lighting some torches like a motherfucker. Uh, this will be pretty straightforward. It's just a little exploration trip, but I feel like. Little color var variations are nice, and I feel like mixing things up with this cool uh, debuff. Although I don't know how much use we'll get out of it. Depends quite heavily on whether or not we have uh, people to do with. Yeah, let's just hop in the Iron Maiden, that'll be fun. My understanding is by explore, it means I have to have the check mark on the map, so it's not enough to just scout. So I have to go all the way to the end of this hallway, which is unfortunate, because this hallway is a freaking... Uh, why can I not click on it? There we go. It's unfortunate we have to go all the way to the end of this place just because it means we're gonna have to walk all the way back. And I'm not looking forward to that. Stacks contents are yours, thank you. What do we have? Another empty chamber. Kinda letting my uh, darkness fade in. Don't have a lot of... I, since I know there's no fights around here, we're fine. We're scouting so much because uh, Knackle, ever since that one Swine King run has just run has just always had these uh two plus twenty percent scouting chance trinkets that also give him some dodge chance. Uh and I just never took them off. 
kind of like having him around for scouting. Oh, that didn't work. I tried disarming it. I guess I did try to disarm it with the wrong character. Forgot I was using the Vestral. My bad. My bad. Hey, y'all. How's it going? Oh. You guys here to party? Oh, they're all undead. Unfortunate thing is I have, I have quite the uh, party of... Uh, I have quite the party of bleeders right now. Which is not the people you want to bring into this kind of run full of undead monsters. But I went ahead and just did it anyway just because I need to level these dudes up. So I could target these bad guys if I wanted to. In fact, I could pretty much kill them. I can also do an AoE. But it's not that strong. I'm going to try single targeting the back people down. Especially that noble. The noble's a dick. And if we can take those guys out, then all we have left is the bone commander. Well, that's just not nice. Accuracy reduction! Stop resisting things, dick. <laughs> that could be fun, though. Oh, I died. Right. I for of course, the uh, that character has a very has a pretty good chance of not hit landing hits, unfortunately. Confidence there we go. The Other skeletons down. Noble will be down in one more hit, too. And main G can keep focusing on the commander. So it should be a decent setup. Aha! You're even less accurate. Suck it, dicks. This guy's 20% less accurate. This makes him pretty makes it pretty hard for him to ever make contact with uh with the jester in particular who has a high dodge chance. I can definitely see why he'd have this ability. Let's see, what's his dodge chance? He has a 35 dodge. And he just reduced this guy's accuracy by 20%. So that's like a 55% chance of missing without even factoring in the character's actual chance of missing. Which is pretty devastating. Give them no quarter. It could be really good for a boss encounter, like uh, the Necromancer, for example. Which would be counterintuitive because this guy is... Uh... Nah, I wouldn't want to do that though because I want my Crusaders in front. Although I could have the Crusaders back there, they could still be doing their lunging attack on the Necromancer. That, that could be interesting. That might be what... I, I might have just developed a strategy for third tier Necromancer. I might have uh, Crusaders in my second and third rows using their long range attack over and over again on the on the Necromancer who's in the back row and while he's summoning all of his dumb guys I could be using this debuff to make them less and less accurate over and over again that might be actually a valid strategy and if they're because if I keep making them, them inaccurate then they're useless if they can't land attacks and that could be a valid strategy because the problem with killing the Necromancer uh, the Necromancer's adds is that he can he'll just summon more but you have a limited party size in this game so if I kill their part if I kill his uh, bonus adds if I, if I kill them he can summon more but if I don't kill them he can't summon more so I, if I just stack debuffs on them every turn then they just can't fight meanwhile I can do the same thing I did last time where I have my Vestral try to stun the Necromancer and I have my two Crusaders doing their bonus damage against uh, unholy uh, lunging attack attacks against the Necromancer. That could actually be a legit strategy for crowd control. We'll see how it works, maybe. That might be what I go with. First thing, though, I just need to actually unlock said uh, levels. Say, I'm trying to think, what does leveling up my characters do at this point? Because everyone has max level equipment and max level skills. I guess it just continues to affect... I guess leveling them up must just continue to affect their, uh, their stress levels. I know that your stress scales differently. That looks like fun. Let's touch it. Let's touch it. Uh, a small holy altar seems out of place against the backdrop of corruption. A soothing pale light and- yay, a buff! Plus 20% damage for our, our lead damaging character. That's awesome. And we're hungry. Well, get over it, guys. We got a mission to do. You'll eat when we get home. Let's see, I probably... I might be able to get away with not going to the right, actually. Yeah, let's go left. 90%... We might we might hit 90% without going right and not having having to backtrack. Ow. Mechanical hazards. I missed that one, apparently. Evil intent. Well, we might as well camp, because we haven't. So let's do that. Because we're pretty far along in this run already. A moment of These are just getting shorter and shorter, aren't they? I will do a little stress reduction. Since people are a uh, little bit stressed, so it actually does do some benefit. What can I do to benefit people? Uh, reduce stress by 20 and increased accuracy. Go for it. That character desperately needs accuracy anyway. You have stress to kill- oh yeah, bonus accuracy. Let's give Mangy a bunch of accuracy to counteract the fact that he's terrible at- that accuracy. 
Uh, oh, more accuracy. Lols. Stop. Now you'll never miss again, you asshole. You missing asshole. Let's pray. Just to cap off some uh, stress reduction. Alright, we're done. Clicking through all the barks, and we're fighting. Once it loads. Okay, there we go. Now we're fighting. Oh no, my party got rearranged. Now Main G is awkwardly in the back and useless. He's gonna spend the entire fight trying to approach the fight. Let's see, what about Grape Shot Blast? It's not terrible damage overall, but single targeting might be more effective. My bleed could actually one-shot people. Whereas my range attack is actually less likely to. Yeah, at this point my best move is to try to reduce the number of enemies, basically. Although, a mixture of Grape Shot Blast could take them all out at once so after a couple rounds. It will probably- yeah, Grape Shot actually has higher damage- uh, since I can't bleed them, Grape Shot has the highest damage per turn to their whole party. It won't kill individuals fast enough, but it'll- yeah. If I- oh god. Okay, now- eat my words. <laughs> double- double instant kill crit and a miss. Alright, so, that worked pretty well. But yeah, my logic was that if I spam Grape Shot and uh... If I start spamming Grape Shot and the uh, Accuracy debuff over and over again, then they can't really hit me and I'm damaging their whole party at once. And then maybe one day Mangy will move to the front row and actually make contact with them again. I find it amusing that that, that, the, uh, that this spell hurts people. Aha, now you both have reduced accuracy. Suck it. Yeah, you're, 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 your chances of hitting Lucas are pretty low. And also, haha, -ha, what, uh, what little progress you made has now been undone. Suck it, dudes. Alright, now Mangy's back up front, so he can actually use moves now. Which is good. Grape shot. It wasn't as cool this time. But Mangy can probably finish anybody off now. Like this. I should have checked it. I should have checked his hit chance to see how effective my buffs have been. He's got a lot of buffs now, right? 30 accuracy, 25 stress resist, 10 dodge. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, let's bleed this dude. Not for the bleed, but because that's my strongest ma in single target attack. These nightmarish creatures can be fed. Look at all damn rewards. They, they give me so much rewards. It's almost the like the game's basically over. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. They really are sh oh. I shouldn't have done that. What, I, what was I expecting to happen? <laughs> what was I expecting to happen? Alright, moving on forward. Eh, it's not even bad stress. Everyone will be fine. This would be a nice camping location, just because it looks nice. Nice calming situation. No, don't play with it. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, are you gonna take it? Oh, fuck you. I need to fix that character trait right away. And grape shot. It was less effective than last time, but still very effective overall. And chopping people up. Jesus Christ. Yeah, my, my little, my silly debuff situation, not really worth doing in this situation. Uh, thankfully he's also got a fairly damaging Dirk attack, because he's a capable melee character. Uh, let's do single target. There we go, he's stunned. He's not even going to get a turn in before he dies. Suck it. Oh my god. Very effective party, yeah. So yeah, I, I'm interested in my, my accuracy reduction gimmick because it could actually be helpful in a future encounter. But for now, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty pointless to waste turns on my accuracy reduction move when the characters die so fast that it can't really get much stacking up. Jesus Christ. Yep, giving main G bonus accuracy makes him pretty fucking scary all of a sudden. Where you just, oh, no, ballot Y. When he's la when he's landing all of his uh his attacks, he, every, everyone's pretty screwed. Eight to eleven, eight to 11. yeah, you're, you're you'll probably die. Actually, yeah, there's a fair amount of you guys left. Suck it. Yeah, it worked for all of them. What's that? What's that? Oh, it hit me. But I, I did the thing that made it not hit me. Now I'm sad. <laughs> oh. So much for accuracy reduction. Everyone's still hitting me. <laughs> It is only 10%, but still. There we go, that's a dodge. And fuck you. And that should just jerk stab some dudes. Wow, the, the stun killed them. It's As adorable. Alright, key. So too will resistance. What do we get? We get more stuff that we don't necessarily need. I'll leave that in Venice. Yeah, I'll leave the antidote there. Because everything else is worth money. And if I'm lucky, this next room's going to be the end of this dungeon anyway. 
So that other stuff doesn't matter. Hey, gross ghoul. Oh, we got surprised? What was the chance of that? And main G's awkwardly in the back. We're all the, all the way in the back again. Alright, we'll start bleeding some dudes. Oh, I can only hit the maggots with that? Bummer. Alright. Gonna do that, I guess. Uh, I'll try to stun the ghoul. Because that'll make this easier for us. Oh, nope. Not effective. Not having a great chance of success with that move today, are we? Thankfully, I have a Dirk Stab. She was like an attack while also moving forward. I probably should have hit the, uh, the maggot with that to get one target out, but... You know what? Fuck it. Maggots aren't even dangerous. But also, yeah, let's finish them off. Especially since it's like a guaranteed kill. Alright, now more bleeding. Although it might have been more... It probably would have been more effective to switch with main G so that he got an attack off. Because his attack would probably do more damage than... Than Knackle's bleed ever will. Oh well. Oh well, we're fine. Let's not stress about the optimization of my moves. That's something to do when I'm fighting an actual boss. For now, it's mostly, it's almost like just about efficiency of like, all right, let's burn through this really fast so we can get to the next run. Victory. Bam, bam, bam. But a victory nonetheless. Pacing wise, it's actually good. Like we're just now hitting the point where it's getting like a little too repetitive and a little like, eh, these done, these runs don't matter anymore. But I'm like one run away from unlocking the last boss, and then I can just do all three bosses and then we're done. So, I guess I can't complain about the pacing if it's like starting to feel a little long. Uh, a little repetitive right when we're about to be done because that that's 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 when it should end <laughs> dear lord i got that many that fast that was a sh that was like a 10 minute run i got 33 no 34 crests uh nine busts two portraits and like what i think it was like 13,000 gold or something like that not not a ton so now Main G is bloodthirsty, fascinated with injury, wounds, and torture. That's probably bad. Uh, ooh, bonus. Scouting in the ruins. Slayer of Beast. Accuracy and crit against Beast for Lucas. That's also a great trait. Uh, and I think multiple characters just hit level... I think this was all level 4 party, if I remember correctly. So I think three characters just leveled up. Main G is a little bit behind. I think he's the only level 4 I have now. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. Yeah, when I sort when I sort by level, I have an entire screen of red, and then one no oh, nope Thamurd Thamurd and Mangy are my two level fours left. All right, and Serene got rid of misses the spot and nervous. Let's pick out some new traits to fix and fix now. I think first of all, let's check to see if I unlocked the new boss fight. I did. Done, done, done. All right, so. There we go. We have all three final bosses let unlocked right now. And hopefully one day the cove will get added to the game. The place that gives you deeds. See, that's the thing. It's like everything you ever do in this game gives you a crest. The cove being added would be great because it gives you deeds and portraits, which are the two things I constantly needed more of. Which would, uh, that would, uh, accelerate the progress of, uh, leveling up. What's it called? Uh, the blacksmith and the... The blacksmith and the D -D 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 guild. There we go. I just lost my mind there for a second there. All right, so this episode's probably going to be a little short. Just because... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do anything else this episode. Because I'm going to do one... I'm not going to, like, just start... Uh, it can take a while to do uh, the boss level, so I'm going to do those next episode. But, yeah. We might have three consecutive boss fight love, uh, episodes, and then wrap up this series for, until the early access progresses and, and the, uh, the new areas are added. So that'll be exciting. Uh, if we do any, if there's more than three mi missions, if we do more than three parts, it'll probably be because I had to like recover between attempts because like, oh, but I want to use that guy next mission, but he needs to stress heal or something. So I'll do like a filler mission in the middle. But I think that's enough for now. So th thanks guys for watching, like always. And I'll see you next time. We're we're there. We're we're right there, guys.